Hi friends, let's solve this um, NMOS transistor problem. Oops. So here it is uh, asking to calculate uh, what is the value of R. So let's uh, proceed now. The transistor uh, Q1 uh, and uh, Q2 both are in uh, such saturation because these are uh, two MOSFET uh, MOSFETs uh, diode connected MOSFETs actually so um, or otherwise we can uh, simply see that uh, VDS2 VDS2 is uh, clearly 1.8 minus 1 volt that is 0.8 volt but uh, if you take uh, VGS uh, uh, is uh, VGS2 I mean uh, 1.8 minus uh, 1 here it is also 0.8 and so clearly VDS2 is uh, greater than VGS2 minus uh, VT so we can easily tell uh, for the diode connected MOSFET uh, VDS uh, is equal to VGS uh, so clearly we can uh, tell uh, this is in saturation region so both are the uh, transistors are in a saturation region now uh, we need to calculate what is the value of uh, r and find the required values of the gate width for each q1 and uh, q2 so first of all uh, r value is simple it is a uh, 2.5 that is a uh, vdd minus vd that is a uh, 1.8 volts over 0.5 milli amperes so this is clear <coughs> so now it is a uh, 0.7 over uh, 0.5 milliamperes so it is a uh, 1.4 kilo ohm so this is clear here and uh, so it is a uh, id value already given that is drain current is 0.5 milliamperes because uh, these transistors are in uh, um, saturation we can write simply the drain current equation that is mu naught sin x over w sorry multiplied w over l v over drive square so let's take this is id2 so then uh, so this is a 2 v over drive is a vgs minus uh, vt v over drive is vgs 2 minus uh, Vt so which is uh, equals to 0 0.8 minus uh, Vt is given 0 0.5 so it is 0 0.3 volts so clearly <coughs> W over L is Let's substitute the values one by one is 0.5 multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 3 multiplied 2 and uh, mu naught c naught x uh, is a 250 micro amperes per volt square and uh, v over drive voltage that is 0 0.3 whole square let's use a calculator now how much uh, it can be it can be so let's use a calculator uh, it is 0.5 multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 3 multiplied with uh, 2 over 250 10 to the power of minus 6 multiplied with 0.3 square so it is a 44.44 so but uh, l value i think already given the channel length it is a 0.25 micrometers so w is in fact it is a w2 is 44.44 multiplied with 0.25 micrometer so how much it can be 11.11 uh, .11 micrometers and similarly let's uh, calculate for uh, transistor q1 also here so 
here also same current uh, drain current will be there that is 0.5 uh, milliamperes so it is uh, 250 10 to the power of minus 6 that is mu naught c naught x value and uh, here w over l value and here v o v 1 whole square so v overdrive voltage 1 it is uh, vgs 1 uh, minus vt so vgs 1 is clearly 1 volt minus vt is a point uh, 5 it is a point 0.5 volt so clearly point 0.5 10 to the power of minus 3 uh, here also 1 over 2 250 10 to the power of minus 6 and w over l1 so this is point 0.5 whole square so let's use a calculator here 250 and 0.25 10 to the power of minus 3 w over l1 if you use a calculator here simply we can uh, uh, what is the value of w by uh, l uh, well 1.25 uh, and uh, 10 to the power of minus 3 so it is a 16 the ratio of w over l w1 over l1 is a 16 so l1 is already given that is a 0.25 micrometer so it is a 16 l1 so it is 4 micrometers so in this way you can calculate the, uh, this kind of um, you can easily solve this kind of problems Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel.